Hey there, welcome back to our channel. Today, we're going to dive into a topic that's been on a lot of people's minds, the potential effects of cell phones and cell towers on our health. We know you may have some questions like, are cell phones and cell towers dangerous? Will they give me cancer or harm my brain? And trust us, we totally get it. With all of us using cell phones and living near cell towers, it's important to understand the potential risks and make an informed decision. That's why we've put together this informative video just for you, so make sure to stick around till the end to get all the details. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to our channel, and turn on post notifications so you never miss a new video from us. Okay, so let's start by breaking down the potential health risks of cell phones. Now, we know a lot of you may be worried about holding a device that emits radiation so close to our heads and bodies. But here's the thing, the type of radiation emitted by cell phones, known as radio frequency radiation or RF radiation, is not the same as the type of radiation emitted by X-rays or UV rays. RF radiation is a non-ionizing radiation which means it doesn't have enough energy to damage our DNA or cells, so it's not considered to be a serious health risk. When you hold a cell phone to your ear or keep it in your pocket, it emits radio waves in order to communicate with the nearest cell tower. These waves can generate minor heat in the tissue closest to the phone. This might cause symptoms such as headaches or a heated sensation on the skin. However, these symptoms are usually transient and disappear as you stop using the phone. Still, cell phone radiation levels are quite low, and studies have found no strong evidence that cell phone use causes major health problems. Regardless, it is crucial to note that the levels of RF radiation released by cell phones are regulated by government bodies such as the Federal Communications Commission, or SCC in the United States to guarantee that they are below acceptable limits. Furthermore, the amounts of RF radiation emitted by cell phones are significantly lower than the levels that have been found to cause harm in other types of non-ionizing radiation, such as UV rays from the sun. Now, what about cell towers? You might be worried about living or working near a cell tower because they emit RF radiation. But it's important to note that cell towers emit much lower levels of RF radiation than cell phones and are typically placed far away from where people live or work. Some people might worry about the long-term effects of living or working near a cell tower, but research so far hasn't found any clear evidence that cell towers cause health problems. It's also worth mentioning that the levels of RF radiation emitted by cell towers are also regulated by government agencies to ensure that they are safe for people to be around. To wrap up, it's important to note that while there is some concern about the potential health effects of cell phones and cell towers, there are also many benefits to these devices. They allow us to stay connected with loved ones, access information, and call for help in an emergency, among others. One thing to keep in mind is that technology is advancing quickly, and new studies are being conducted all the time. It is always important to stay informed about the latest research and to make an informed decision about your own usage of cell phones and proximity to cell towers. Another thing to keep in mind is that there are many factors that can affect our health, and it's important to consider the overall picture. For example, staying physically active, eating a healthy diet, and getting enough sleep are all important for our overall well-being. It is always better to be safe than sorry, so if you are concerned about the potential health effect, such as the effects of prolonged screen time on your eyes and brain, potential impact on your posture and overall physical well-being, there are some simple precautions you can take to reduce your exposure to RF radiation. For example, taking regular breaks, adjusting screen settings and using the device with proper posture are some of the steps that can be taken to minimize these effects. You can use a hands-free option, such as a headset or speakerphone, to keep the phone away from your head and body. With this, we have come to the end of today's video. If you have any questions about how the cell phone and cell towers affect the human body, 
feel free to leave them in the comments below. Thanks for watching and see you in next one.